graph of the function f of x equals this polynomial. And you see that it crosses the x-axis five times. Uh, the question is how to find those x-intercepts or the x values that are roots of this equation right here uh, without drawing a graph and looking at a graphing calculator. Well, the first thing you should notice is that you should factor out an x and leaving this polynomial factor. And then what are the x values that make this final polynomial equal to zero? Uh, is answered, you're supposed to use synthetic division. And uh, if you're aware of the rational root theorem, the only possible rational roots are one and negative one because the factors of the multiples of the constant term are plus or minus one and the leading coefficient is a one. So let's try a one and see what happens using th synthetic division. We've got a one, a minus four, a minus two, a plus four, and a plus one <clears throat> as the coefficients in descending order of that polynomial. By synthetic division, we bring down the leading coefficient, and then we multiply and add. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. Since this remainder is a zero, that means x minus one is a factor. So we've got x times x minus 1, and the quotient is x squared, I'm sorry, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. And now we need to work on that polynomial. And <clears throat> uh, we can see, all right, it's fairly obvious if you put one in here for x, you will not get a zero. So let's try negative one for one, negative three, negative five, negative one. Bring down the leading coefficient, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Remainder is zero, so x minus a negative one is a factor, or x plus one. And then we've got x squared minus 4x minus one. And that's a quadratic factor. We can solve that by the quadratic formula or by completing the square. I'll use the quadratic formula. So up here, x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared would be 16 minus 4 times a, which is a 1, times c, which is a negative 1, all over 2a, which is 2. The number under the radical is 20. So the square root of 20 is <clears throat> 2 radical 5. All over 2. That 2 in the denominator divides into both terms of the numerator. So I get 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. So there are all the solutions of this equation. They're all real numbers. <clears throat> two of them are irrational. Two plus the square root of five is this number way out here. Two minus the square root of five is this root right here. Okay, so there's how you use synthetic division to find the roots and uh, get the residual polynomial factor that you can solve by using the quadratic formula. There you go. Thank you.